everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Callie and this is a channel dedicated to DIY fashion. I am on a mission to create the ultimate upcycled wardrobe. I am taking all those pieces from the back of my closet that I haven't worn in forever and I'm raiding all of the local thrift stores, transforming them into new and improved pieces that I am excited to wear and excited to have in my closet. Um, if you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And also check the description box so you can find me on other social media. I think that's all I have to say. So if you want to see what I'm transforming today, then just keep watching. Hey guys, I hope you are having an awesome day today. I am excited to bring you a new video and a new project today. Okay, so I picked up this tan gingham sleeveless maxi dress at the thrift store last week for about $5. It's just really simple, kind of plain and boring. Um, not really something I would wear on its own. So I'm going to see what I can change about this. So as you saw me there, I like to try it on and kind of pull it around and get a feel for what it's like and what it could look like. And then I like to sketch out some different ideas. Um, this is where Pinterest really comes in handy because I'll pull up my Pinterest board, look at pieces that I've really been liking, different styles, different little details, um, and kind of sketch out a few different ideas of, of what I might do. For this particular refashion, I wanted to incorporate this little detail of um, kind of the slit in the neckline um, with strings attached to it to tie bows. I tried on the dress again inside out this time so that I could start making some markings um, of things I wanted to adjust um, and take in. And the first thing I decided that I wanted to change was I wanted to raise the neckline a little bit. So I'm doing that by pulling the shoulders up and I'm just making a mark for where I'm going to put in a new shoulder seam. I just pulled the fabric up and used my tailor's chalk to draw a line where I was gonna sew that. And then I just made um, a mark right down the center of the dress. I'm just kind of mapping out where I'm going to do that slit neckline. Now that mark I just put about my waistline is where I was planning on chopping the bodice off. I ended up moving that lower, um, but that's the beauty of mapping it out. You just kind of get a feel for it. You can tweak things before you even start cutting and sewing. And then I'm just marking again on the side seams where I want to take in the sides just a tiny bit. Then I put my dress down, just laid it out flat, and I cut the dress right there. So separating the top from the skirt. Next, I put my bodice on the floor and I'm just going over those markings I made when I tried the dress on and just kind of cleaning up the lines, pinning things together, um, and just using my tailor's chalk again to draw more straight lines of where I'm going to sew, um, taking in both the shoulder seams and the side seams. Then I take that over to my sewing machine and I'm just sewing those down. Okay, next, for my, my dress, I decided that I wanted to do a tiered skirt. So I wanted to do multiple layers. So first thing I did is I measured my bodice, the bottom of it, to see how wide it was. And I took that measurement and I multiplied it by 1.2. And I used that new number to um, create the next layer. That would be my new width for the next layer. And then I repeated that for the final layer. And then once I had those cut out, I just went ahead and did a basting stitch across the top of each of those layers and started gathering them. And I gathered them to the point where this first layer, once it was gathered, matched up with the same width of the bottom of my bodice. Then I just threw that on the bottom of the bodice, right sides together, and pinned that all the way around, trying to make sure that my ruffle, my gather, was even the whole way around. And once I got it to where I liked it, then I just took it over the sewing machine and sewed that in place. And then I'm going to repeat that process for my second layer of the tiered skirt. Okay, and next is sleeves. So what I like to do for sleeves often when I'm adding them to a sleeveless garment is I'll go in my closet and just pull out a top that has a similar shape in that, in that armhole um, seam. So I just want the same shape. So I'm laying my dress on top of that shirt, and you can see how that shape kind of matches up. 
Then I'm just putting a piece of paper over top and kind of feeling, pulling it back, um, and just tracing that general sleeve shape. Right here, I'm just making sure to write down, mark which side the fold it was on, and then taking that um, pattern piece, I'm going to lay that on top of some of my excess fabric, and then cutting out two sleeve pieces. Once I have my sleeve pieces, I'm just pinning the sleeve piece around the armhole, right sides together, always start at the shoulder point and work your way around the armpit. And once I had that in place, I just sewed that together. And I forgot to record this part, but I finished my sleeves by just rolling them twice, ironing and tacking them down. So just a simple cuff sleeve. I really wanted for this look to do this kind of slit neckline with um, multiple sets of ties so that I could do like a double bow at the neck. But first I went ahead and cut out a rectangular shape, folded it in half, and ironed it so that there is a center crease. I did the same on my dress front, folded it in half, ironed it so that there was a crease, and then I just laid that rectangle on top of my dress front with those creases lined up and pinned that in place. Then I'm going to take the dress over to my sewing machine and I'm going to very carefully start at the top of the neckline and sew down next to the crease, um, down to as far as I want the slit to be, turn and go back up to the neckline on the other side of the crease. Just making nice even lines. Then I'm going to just use my scissors to cut down on top of that crease, so in between where we sewed, and then when you get down to the bottom, just cut nice little diagonal lines to the corners, um, being careful to go close to your stitches but not through them. Then you're going to take that material, that rectangle material, and just flip it to the inside of the dress so that you have nice crisp lines for your slit neckline and then you'll just use your iron to iron those perfectly flat and then top stitch to just finish that off. Okay, next I'm just going to make the ties for the neckline. So I started by cutting about one and a half inch wide strips. I'm folding in each side to the center and then folding that closed so that I have um, finished edges and then just do a simple top stitch down to um, finish off my strings. Okay, then I'm going to take those ties and just line them up on my neckline where I want them to attach and just make sure that you get those perfectly even with each other so you don't have any lopsidedness in the neckline and then just go ahead and sew those down. After finishing the ties, we are all done. Let's take a look at the final transformation. Yep. project today. This was a really fun one for me to do and I hope maybe it inspired you to really use your creative mind to create something that you're proud of. I hope your week is full of happy good things. Thanks for watching my video. Be sure to subscribe before you leave and I will see you next week.